So when you do perform a deploy in Code Deploy, uh, you're going to get to be able to visually see all the lifecycle event hooks that are available to you. Uh, as they perform, you will see these uh, go from uh, pending to successful, or if they fail, they'll show you additional information. You can see that we get the durations of it. So it's a really good way to get that overview of it. In the case of a failure, it, it will look like this. So you can see that this script got through here, and then it failed at this point, and then you would click into that. And then once you click into it, you'll get a little bit more information. Um, it's not always clear as what has gone wrong. So here you can see that it's saying uh, start, dot, uh, start underscore puma.sh has failed. So that script in particular that I wrote had an issue. And then inside, we might get some information actually as to what failed exactly. And this one is totally not clear. So there's a lot of cases where you have to log into the EC2 instance to debug uh, code deploy. Um, generally, what you want to do is stream your code deploy logs to CloudWatch logs, which I don't show you uh, in this in this um, section. Um, but it's something you definitely want to do if you're running code deploy in production because it's such a pain to log into an EC2 instance and debug this stuff. So, but uh, there you go. So I just wanted to hop over to the documentation here uh, quickly to show you what hooks are actually available to you. And what's going to affect uh, hook availability is the deployment methodology. You can notice for in-place in deployment, we have all hooks available to us. And then for blue-green, based on um, the case, it's going to change. Um, so it's interesting here because when you do blue-green deployment, um, you will see all these hooks in the uh, code deploy. You'll see all of them, but it's just trying to separate them out to say these are the original ones that are going to happen on that side, the, the replace, replacement ones on this side. So just be aware of that. And then these are just for rollbacks. So for rollbacks, you can see uh, the scope is um, uh, quite fewer there. Do you need to remember any of these for the exam? No, but it's just good to know because it could save you time debugging if you're doing this for real in a practical use case.